Welcome to another installment of the Teakin Clinic. My name is Ty Campbell and in this video we are going to take a look at our brand new ceramic bearing option for our Gen 3 motor line. This fits the Gen 3 line and the Spec R line. And then we're going to go ahead and install some in our motor and see what kind of RPM gains we get. So before we throw our ceramic bearings in our Gen 3 13.5 Spec R, we're going to go ahead and get a baseline reading with this motor tester. So right now we've got it hooked up to two cell. We're sitting at 7.8 volts. So let's see what kind of RPM we get. So that was bouncing around a little bit. I'm gonna say we were just at 28,500 RPM for a baseline on our 13.5. Now let's throw our bearings in and see what kind of RPM gains we get. Now we're going to take our new ceramic bearing kit and install them in our Gen 3 Spec R13.5 motor and I have the bearing kit right here. It is part number TT3849 if you want to get your own ceramic bearings. This is actually pretty easy. All you need is a 2 millimeter wrench for the front screws and a 1.5 millimeter wrench for the rear screws. So let's tear this motor down real quick. Now that we've got our motor torn down to this state, we actually need a very small Phillips screwdriver. The double lot is what I'm gonna use to take the sensor PCB off of the rear end bell cap, and then that way we can go ahead and push our bearing out. Now that we've got our end caps isolated, we can go ahead and pop these stock bearings out so that we can put our ceramic bearings in. Now I like to actually put the front cap back on the motor so that everything is supported and then just take a wrench that you really don't care about or if you have a bearing removal tool that's even better but if you don't have one of those usually you can get this front oversized bearing just to tap right out. That was pretty easy. Let's get the back one out. And that one popped right out too. Now we can go ahead and put our new ceramics in. With those back in, we can go ahead and reassemble our motor. Make sure that you keep an eye on these shims. There is a shim in the Spec R motor, so you need to be careful to put that back where it goes. Now we've got our ceramic bearings in. We've got our baseline of about 28,500 RPM with the stock bearings. So let's see what kind of gains we get with our ceramics. So that's pretty good. We saw about a 500 RPM gain and a 0.7 amp drop in our no load current just by swapping our bearings out. Now I did make sure that our timing was set right and there's going to be a little bit of variance in the results that you get from motor tester to motor tester and your battery. So obviously our battery dropped a little bit in voltage while we were doing our testing but still 500 RPMs and a drop of 0.7 amps in our no load current is huge when you're talking spec motor racing. Pretty easy to install bearings in a motor. It only takes a few minutes and a little bit of patience. Ceramic bearings are definitely a great option part for the Gen 3 motors, and as you can see, add a noticeable amount of RPM. This is gonna be beneficial for any kind of spec racing where you really need all you can get out of your motor. Be sure and like, share, and subscribe. I'm Ty Campbell. Thanks for watching this week's episode of Tegan Clinic.